Today I'm doing a um, $25 box wrap up. Um, so I did this box with Logan last night, and um, so yeah. And um, also, just real quick, I got these two Lincoln Scent books in the mail today. Um, but yeah. I'm really upset because this is what I was going to use to hold my coins in. And my dumb mail lady, I'm just going to call her dumb because I don't even care. <clears throat> She's really lazy and this is not her first time doing it. But um, whenever she feels lazy and doesn't want to bring a package that won't fit in the mailbox down, um, she just shoves it right in the mailbox. And... She did that with this, and she literally bent it and ripped the whole side and the back of it. It's totally ripped and just destroyed now. I can't even use this thing anymore. So we're going to have to try and send it back and complain. But yeah, um, that really sucks. But whatever. The other one's okay, but um, that just annoys me. But anyway, let's get right into um, this wrap-up. So... Over here, we got a bunch of estimate marks. Um, up here, we got a bunch of just destroyed coins I keep because it's kind of like funny because I have no details left. And then over here, I got toned coins. I'm not going to show all the to toned coins, but this one was really weird. Oops. Um... It might be polished or something like that, but it is super, like, reflective and not, like, any sort of normal, like, coin. Look at that. And I don't think it's uncirculated. It has this, like, weird color to it. So I think it might be polished. It's just really weird. Like, look how much that thing shines. But, um, yeah. Um, and then, what was this one? Yeah, that one just had blue toning. Alright, um, then Canadians. We just got a bunch of Canadians. Um, not as much as usual, but it's all, it's alright. Um, up here I got six, or no, six, like seven 2009s. And then, um, oh, um, we got a dime. Which was actually points on the scoreboard. Um, a bunch of uncirculated copper, which will be good for my penny books. Um, some 2017 Denver's. Um, and then two 1959's. And then also over here are some woodies. There was a really noticeable one. Where is it? Was that it? That might have been it. No, I don't think it was. Alright, but, yeah. This one, I think was it. Yeah, super noticeable. And, um, then also, I got a die crack. <clears throat> which is very neat. Um, it's kind of hard to see, and I don't really feel like putting my magnifying glass. But you see at the bottom of scent, um, there's a little, like, crack. And it goes through the letter, through the letter N, and all the way up to the memorial building. So that's pretty cool. Um, I noticed that without even a magnifying glass. And then for wheat pennies, we only got nine. I thought we had, I thought we had ten, but whatever. Um, and so here are the years for that. Oldest one being a really like I'm happy about this one, 1917. Which is actually nicer condition than my other one, so this will be going in my book. Still super worn though. I'm trying to let it focus, but it's not really. There we go. Um, super worn still, but it's fine. Um, then also next um, one was a 1929 Denver, which is awesome. Only 41.7 million were minted. 
Um, it looks like some damage happened right here, and then right here, and then also right here and here. I don't know if it got ran over by a car or something, I don't know. But 29 Denver, that's pretty awesome. Um, next we got, the rest are just normal. 41, 44, um, 40, 46 Denver, 49, 51 Denver, 56, um, and the, I mean 56 Denver and the 56 Denver, two of them. And then also, this is pretty awesome, a, um, King George the Sixth, 1952, so it's basically the newest one that you can get. But still pretty awesome, King George the Sixth. Um, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. That was an awesome box, and um, I might be doing a nickel box next week, or I don't know. I am also might, might be doing a uh, penny box with someone else. Alright, bye guys.